Hey, and welcome back to Wild Mythology. I welcome you to the channel with bread and salt. Today's video is going to be part one of where I talk about every single creature and monster from Greek mythology. But before we get to that, the end of our giveaway is soon coming to an end this month, so don't forget to subscribe and make a comment so you can have a chance to win the book Bullfinch's Mythology. Plus, every video you comment on that I made this April gives you an extra chance to win. Counting this video, that would give you seven ballots. Now enough of that, let's get to the creatures of Greek mythology. Number one, the Nemean Lion. The Nemean Lion was a savage monster that lived in a cave in Nemea, and was the child of the two-headed dog Orthos and the hybrid Chimera. The lion preyed on the people of Nemea, and no mortal weapon could harm it because of its impervious fur. In mythology, the Nemean lion's most important role comes to play in the first labor of Heracles, also known as Hercules. For Heracles' first labor, King Eurystheus assigned him the task of killing the Nemean lion. And so Heracles found the lion's cave and battled with the beast. Heracles tried shooting arrows, but they only bounced off the lion's body. He then tried slashing the creature with his sword, but it ricocheted off the lion's mane. Realizing that the lion was impervious to weapons, Heracles took his club and smacked the lion on its head, stunning it. Taking that short moment to get his strong arms around the beast's neck, Heracles strangled the struggling lion until the monster died. Heracles then used the lion's paw to skin its own pelt into a coat that made himself impenetrable to weapons. This coat would protect Heracles in many of his future labors. As for the Nemean lion's body, Hera brought it into the sky, forming it into the constellation Leo. Number 2. The Chimera The Chimera was a ferocious, fire-breathing hybrid with the head and body of a lion, a head of a goat coming out of its back, and a tail with a venomous snake's head coming out of its end. She was the child of Typhon and Echidna, the queen and king of monsters, as well as the sibling to Cerberus, the Hydra, and the two-headed dog Orthos. With Orthos, the Chimera gave birth to the Nemean lion and the Sphinx. In mythology, the Chimera was destroying the kingdom of Lycia by setting the land on fire and devouring livestock and men. This continued for many years until one day a young hero came to face the Chimera. Bellerophon, the demigod son of Poseidon, challenged the Chimera and battled with the creature while on the back of the winged horse Pegasus. The battle was fierce, but in the end Bellerophon managed to defeat the Chimera by making it suffocate on lead. Number 3. Argus Argus was a 100-eyed giant son of Gaia and was under the command of Hera, the queen of the gods. He was also the slayer of Echidna, the queen of monsters. In mythology, Hera found out that her husband Zeus was cheating on her with a woman named Io. Worried that his wife was growing suspicious, Zeus transformed Io into a white cow. But Hera was no fool, and instantly knew what Zeus was trying to hide. So Hera went to Zeus and begged him to give her the white cow as a gift. Having no reason to disagree, Zeus did so. Knowing that her husband would try to steal Io back, she gave Argus the task of guarding the cow. Because of Argus's 100 eyes, Argus could not be sneaked up on, and when he went to sleep, he had at least 50 eyes open. Wanting to free his mistress, Zeus sent his son Hermes to steal the cow. Hermes found Argus guarding Io, and was able to lull most of the giant's eyes to sleep using music. Hermes then took some stones and pelted the rest of Argus' open eyes, causing the giant great pain and distracting him from the swing of Hermes' sword. When Hera arrived, Hermes and Io were gone, and her servant was decapitated. Feeling sad for her dead servant, Hera took Argus' many eyes and put them on the tail feathers of her sacred animal, the peacock. Number 4. Garion Garion was a three-headed giant, described as having either a single body or three bodies merged together. He was the son of Chrysaor and one of the Oceanids, as well as the grandchild of Medusa and Poseidon. 
He was known to be the owner of the two-headed dog Orthos and a herd of brilliant red cattle. In mythology, Garion appears during the tenth labor of Heracles, which required the demigod to acquire Garion's cattle. Once Heracles arrived on Garion's ranch, he was attacked by the two-headed dog Orthos and the herder Eurytion because they knew he was planning to steal the red cattle. Unfortunately for the two, Heracles killed both, each with a tremendous blow from his club. Seeing his servants killed, Garion rushed towards Heracles and was able to push him back until Heracles took out his bow and shot Garion in the forehead with an arrow dipped in the venom of the Hydra. Number 5. The Caucasian Eagle The Caucasian Eagle was one of the children of Tython and Echidna, and was the eagle sent by Zeus to eat the liver of Prometheus every day as punishment for giving man fire. When Prometheus disobeyed Zeus and gave humans the knowledge of how to make fire, Zeus was furious. Zeus took Prometheus and chained him in the Caucasus Mountains. He then sent an eagle to devour Prometheus's liver. But because Prometheus was immortal, every day his liver would regrow, and every day the eagle would come back to repeat the cycle. A cycle that lasted thousands of years. Luckily for Prometheus, Hercules happened upon him and freed him after killing the Caucasian eagle. And there it is, I give you five monsters from Greek mythology. I hope you enjoyed the video, and don't forget to subscribe and comment so you can enter our giveaway. Also, make sure to check back with us for part two of this ultimate series. Well, until next time on Wild Mythology.